Okay, take two. Anyway, hey everybody. This is going to be a uh, top ten TV shows of all time. I'm here with my buddy Cloud. So and at least it's not. At least it's not really late. Yeah, it's only seven <laughs> o'clock. And well, I. There will be an album review kind of later tonight, but because we'll, we'll already have the thing written up, I just haven't had it been kind of hectic around here lately. And Cloud Trim camera back on. Uh, <laughs> anyway, and yeah, yeah. All right, uh, mm. go. And number ten is. The Drew Carey Show. Greg Ferguson's first... <coughs> Greg Ferguson's first TV appearance. Uh, that would be... Uh, which I know you're not a big fan of TV, his TV show, but I am. Anyway, number 10 for me, The Jeffersons. George and Weezy and them. I'm just sure that they're moving out to the east side. You know where they, you, do you know where they live, where that apartment is? No. Well, I'm not sure, I think it's set in Chicago, I think. I don't know. But number nine is Three's Company with John Ritter. Who did the voice for Clifford the Big Red Dog? And who played the dad on Ace of Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter. Which, when I, I wanted to date his teenage daughters. <laughs> Number nine, come on down. The prize is right. Hey, we're Brett Spader. The old episodes. Yeah. The old episodes with, with, with Rich Fields and, uh, Bob, Bob Barker. And Bob Barker. Yeah. And then against Drew Carey is just in. as a at, when I was sick as a kid. That's for some reason what I'd want to watch. Hey, but it was funny though. Yeah, it's still funny. Uh, number really. eight is yeah. Number eight is Knight Rider. <laughs> and then he had a drug overdose. And then he wrote the car. And then there was behind the music on VH1. Number seven is two two seven. Number seven for me, boogity 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 boys. Let's go racing, NASCAR. Number six is the spinoff of. Laverne and Shirley, Mork and Mindy. Uh, I kind of got to uh, correct you on one thing. Mork and Mindy was not a was not a spinoff of Laverne and Shirley. It was a spinoff of Happy Days. Oh, Mister Happy Days should know that one. As much Happy Days as you know, as you watch. <laughs> That's. Like, That's the only I, one I watch. I, I, I ain't screwing with y'all. It's every day for a good two hours. Monday, <laughs> Tuesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. Saturday is what a day. Groove along with you. It is us. And I like this stuff. It's a good show, but him not knowing happy days. <laughs> Just like me not knowing something about classic heavy metal. Anyway, number six, Raw is War, the Attitude Era Raw. Thank you. Number five. Not this current. According current to Jim. You gotta number, love Jim Belushi. You gotta, you gotta love the guy. You gotta love his brother, too. John Belushi. <laughs> One of the Blues Brothers, Animal House. 
I know. Five. <coughs> an oldie but a well, uh, sort of oldie but a goodie. Roseanne. I think it's around the eight. Which, which I think she's like, um, apparently she wants to run for like senator or something like that. She wanted to run for president, but ain't no way in heck that happened. Hey, if that happened. We'd both be screwed. I <laughs> know, uh, actually, she would make everything funny as heck. And. Not a time keeping it clean. Yeah. All right. Mm. Number four. I know you hate the show so much, but you gotta love. Uh, you gotta love Friends. I never said I hated it. I just never really got into it. <laughs> now a movie. Now something I can't stand that people seem seem to love. I can't stand Napoleon Dynamite. I just don't get it. Oh my gosh. It's just not my brand of comedy. That movie is hilarious. My number four is That Metal Show. My number three is I Got This. George Lopez. I Got This. I love that. Why are you crying? Which, I can play their theme song on bass. Just saying. Uh, and, and Carmen was hot. Three good times. Which, there weren't a whole lot of good times had to be had on good times, if you ever noticed that. Yeah. Dynamite! Number two is I love Lucy. Lucy, Lucy I'm on Splendid Toro. Uh, my number two. <laughs> my number two is <laughs> the first Prince of Bel Air. Of course, my number one is Happy Days. I would expect nothing less. <laughs> and yet you didn't know who the spinoff was. <clears throat> but I gotta say, the worst spinoff of Happy Days, Joni Loves Chachi, good lord. I only made like one episode or something like that, and then. One season, then it got cancelled. <laughs> I mean, they got more successful with the dude that they had on there for not even five minutes. Of course, Robin Williams is a freaking comic genius, in my opinion. Yeah. And if they could be George Annal Steele's hair stunt double. <laughs> uh, my number one is All in the Family, You Meet Head. I do believe you had a couple of honorable mentions. Uh, yeah, but I forgot them. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, if you have any questions or topics that you want us to talk about, Email me at LanceMossTV at gmail.com or message me on Facebook or uh, comment on here on YouTube. I mean, subscribe if you hadn't. And, uh, yeah, leave your comments, private message me, all that good stuff. And make sure you click the little subscribe button on the yeah. bottom. Yeah, like you did. That. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's right down there, right in that corner. Yeah. Oh, more, yeah. more down there, but or down over. Yeah, more there, but yeah. 
hand one. Pull against yeah. the other. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, what else? Oh, subscribe to my channel at Kane57003. If you haven't done so already. And, um, let's see, what else? Oh, follow me on Twitter, at GregoryAllen18. And, yeah, that's all. All right, well, that's all we got. Hit us up. Later. Bye. Peace.